days away from kickoff on Super Bowl 57, Super Bowl Sunday, three days and 22 hours to be exact. An estimated 50 million sports fans across the country are betting on the big game. And despite the demand in Missouri, sports betting is still illegal. John Kipper explains why many think now is the time to legalize sports gambling. With so many sports gambling apps out there, it's now easier than ever to bet on the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl, or the Eagles for that matter. But if you're in Missouri, it's illegal to do that right now. But if you're in Illinois, even right across the river where I am now, you can bet on those Chiefs instantly. But this could all change as the Missouri legislature is working on a bill that would allow Missourians to stay home and bet on sports. Basketball, baseball, football. John McGee likes to place bets on a little bit of everything. So he frequently leaves St. Louis and visits FanDuel Sportsbook in Collinsville. I come over here at least twice, twice, three times a week. Soon he could be able to bet from his home. The hearing is being held in Jefferson City Wednesday on two bills fully legalizing and regulating sports betting in Missouri. We have this strange system where people are driving across state lines to participate in the activity, which uh, doesn't make any sense. St. Charles County GOP State Representative Phil Cristofanelli calls the current system ridiculous, saying the state is losing out on money. That means that all that revenue associated with, with those wagers are going to other states and, and not the state of Missouri, and that's really unfortunate. The Legislative Research Office projects anywhere from 21 to $29 million of tax money coming in annually from legal sports betting. Most of the revenue would go towards education, but some Metro East businesses could lose money. To be able to sit at home and do that versus just coming over to the state line, I've absolutely got to hurt us. Melissa Helton is president and GM of FanDuel Sportsbook and Horse Track. She says with a new casino coming and a sports bar atmosphere at the sports book, they'll be okay. So I'm not I'm too worried about that. Uh, yes, it is going to take some of our customers, but we'll still recoup. As for McGee, he's counting down the days he doesn't have to drive to the casino. Well, that'll be a nice convenience if I can just do it from my house. Missouri would be the 37th state to legalize sports betting, joining most of its border states. John Kipper, News 4.